Hey y'all, it's day 31 of the Winter Bulk at Home Workout Series. Now we're coming up on spring, y'all. Feel me? Feeling full of feeling good right now. That's how we're looking on day 31. Also, this is day one, technically two. I'm on a three-day dry fast right now, which I don't recommend for most people, but I've been fasting now for a couple years so I can do it. But yeah, I'm on a three-day dry fast, so that mean I'm not eating or drinking any water. I'm not eating anything or drinking any water for the next three days. I started on Monday, so we're breaking on Thursday night. Um, and yeah, I guess like some benefits I'm looking for. So I got some notes I wanted to speak on. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds, y'all. Okay, so boom. So uh, some benefits of these dry fasts: increased mental clarity, uh, detoxification. I want you know detox my body. Um, enhanced focus and productivity. Um, since this is like I said, day one slash two. Uh, this is when autophagy is going to kick in. So autophagy is when the cells clean house. Uh, they remove damaged components and recycle them. So you know that leads to cellular, cellular renewal and better overall health. But yeah, those are the reasons why I'm doing it fast. Um, also, it helps me stay cut and lean, feel me? So, without further ado, I'm gonna get started on my workout. I'm not gonna work out too hard, feel me? Cause I don't got the necessary nutrients to replenish my body, so. Um, yeah, y'all, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all time. Let's get started. Gym, that's the issue. It's you doing the work. And the truth is, most people don't know how to do the work correctly, or they're not used to it. My generation is one of the softest crybabies I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, there are people that are absolute dogs out here that want to work hard, grind it out, and show people it's tough. It's tough. But uh, there's absolutely terrible, unexcusable people in my generation, and I will say that. I'll say a lot of them, most of them, probably, that don't are, aren't used to working hard. Make a change. The best class sellers, guys. A lot of you who ask me questions, like, well, how do I text class so quick? I embrace that question. I enjoy you asking that question, right? But I, I honestly implore you, and I say this in the nicest way possible. But if you're not willing to take thirty seconds to look at the description of the video, to really hear me talk in any other videos, you'll hear me say the same things a lot. Hey, you want to know this basic question? I have a course, because I don't want to repeat the same basic question 5,000 times. You go to the course, respect my time, then come back on, ask a question about the course or about your full time, and we'll get into the specifics. I love it, like, hey, this seller did this to me. Oh, wow, I've been through that situation thousands of times. I've never actually did a video about this, about how there's four probates, and there's a stepson and an uncle, and they're fighting for it. What's the deal? That, this is a very unique situation that I've been in a lot of times. Let me give you my expert advice after doing 2,000 whole thing over here. That's the question that I like doing because it's very specific if you need an industry expert for this, right? You don't need an expert to then download my content. You go to theholthing.com, my free course, go into the course, and then boom, I'll ask you quite, I'll answer any question right after that. And so, you can text class tell us for free. Just go to theholthing.com, my free real estate whole thing course. 
I'll teach you how to do it for first. FYI. So yes, I'm sure hold some course. Surehosting.com. I will literally teach you how to fulfill your business out for free by going to surehosting.com. Probably, probably don't want to do it. Oh, it's too much work. Get it on a couple files. If, if, if you want to motivate seller to have a signed contract to you on a silver file, you're going to do well. And if, if you can't go on a Google browser, click F R E E W H O L E S L I N G dot com, Google.com. Scroll to where it says start here and click download contract. It's probably not. Probably not going to work out well on this one. If you don't know how to just click a button, it'd be hard for you to call phone, it'd be hard for you to program it with, it'd be hard for you to test that, it'd be hard for you to learn how to drive it all, reverse drive it all, organize data. It's, it doesn't make sense. And so, yes, Wilson.com is all there, I'll show you how to do it. So you work hard and you suck. Yeah. That's how this business works. Now, understand this too. So, okay. You can reverse draft it all, you can drop all That's a great piece for getting a wholesome deal. But what much great price? Mm -hmm. You go to wholesome.com. My legs feel like they're getting bigger, yo. Exactly. What to come to sticky notes? What to actually do when you're looking out for clients for dollars? What software? I don't need a body with a clue. Exactly how to cold call the right way after it's a free rate. They have a lot of this stuff. But a super, really, really important part here is you just got to go to the course and learn the objectives. Your motivated seller is going to say things that might ruin the deal. And I do have a complete download sheet of exactly what to say when people ask me things that are not good. What I mean by that is like I have objections to the download and all these things. But the best way that I personally found right now on how to answer these objections is just by watching the content I have in this report. Of hey, if your seller says this, this is very common, and say this instead. You probably won't know what to say unless you actually watch the video. So go to free course, it's on the I said that a lot, right? But the truth is, for the vast majority of people that actually use the course, yeah. that actually go through this, and that, and that, they do all this stuff right, two, three, two, two. most of y'all, you already know what to do. I'm just being honest. Like, I just, let's keep it 100 with you, okay? Keep you already on. know what to do. You already know what to say. You already know what looks like. You already know what looks like they don't work. You know exactly how to find the best areas in your market for both of them. You'll see. You know all this. You do. I, let's be honest. You know what to do. And there's a certain percentage of people watching this that wants a secret. Like they, they want to know, oh, what, what's the shortcut to, to, to get in front of the, the best areas? What's, what's the shortcut to get right where I want to be, right? Well, what's the special shortcut? And the truth is, there is no special shortcut. I, I'm just being completely honest with you right now. There is no special shortcut. The shortcut is the word. Oh, wow. I feel like doing this so subtly, man. The fastest way to get the pen. Yes, it was not. We need to see if it's a little better than that. There's all this magic software system company that no one's talked about that actually will open this deal on the other side. It ain't like that, right? It ain't. Let's be honest with you. I cut some of it off. I pitched off all these little things.
They put in the work, and they did it for a long enough time for us. This is why I absolutely love people that have one more work.
Alright, let's say back to the end. We can't do that. Let, let's do that. Because if we just keep telling us that we're going to do it, and it ha there's a gap as many holes there as that excuse. But the ones that are mentally strong enough to go over those excuses, I should get rich. That is what we go. I make excuses every day in my mind. And because I'm strong enough to overcome it, that's why I wake up every morning and find it out. So that's the second issue I'm seeing, and that's the one I've been more of a grind on lately for people because I think a lot of people are, are making excuses for, for their life. You know, you make a choice, and a lot of men can understand this, and I, I think most women and a lot of women can, can do this, but as a, as a man or woman in the United States, right, especially in a, in a business sense, you make a choice every single day of who you want to be. Welcome to Six Pack Promo. Today's workout will require the following pieces of equipment. A physio ball. Physio ball knee tuck for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I just, but here's the problem. 75% of the weight, like 75% of all people know you should be healthy to lose weight. So like statistically, most people are overweight, but they also know what they have to do. So statistically, most people know what they have to do, but they choose subconsciously not to do it. And that's the problem in the United States. Ten seconds left. You know, fitness guru, right? Not the most jacked guy in the world. Um, but, like, I'll be telling you, most people know what to do. Physio ball corkscrews for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. People know exactly what the work is and what they gotta do, they just choose not to. Just being honest. And so, you make a subconscious decision not to do work, that you know what you gotta do, but you don't do it. And so, for most wholesalers, entrepreneurs, people watching this, either you stay broke, or you do the work. You stay broke. 10 seconds left. You get out of being broke. You do the work. But you have to make that decision. Physio ball marching planks for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And people come to me, and you know, I use this because we get a lot of dog owners. Right? We, we get a lot of dog owners watching this, right? I love their dog to death, right? They both hold them, right? So let's have a conversation with us. It's all about this. It's cat lovers, right? Animal yeah. lovers. Ten seconds left. If you're a little dog retriever puppy, you feed the puppy every day. All right, at the same time, right? Thirty seconds rest. Think. What if I said, wait, 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 what? I'm supposed to feed this thing every single day? Can I just feed it like twice a week? No. Why not? Will not. I think you can water. Why is she in water once a week? What? Oh, that, that, that's just, I, I'm going to kill the dog if I do that? 10 seconds left. I'm going to have to feed the dog for two weeks to not get any water for this and it dies. Man. Physio ball side plank drops for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ten seconds left. Switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. It's got its own ecosystem. It's got its, got its own. Uh, it's, a, it's a biological creature. If you don't feed it, it dies. It's got no energy source. It dies. And so you're going to be a burger in your own poultry business by not marketing it to At least marketing like crazy.
Ten seconds left. One more minute. Physio ball levitation crunches for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds left. So you're gonna give the dog five pebbles a day? Five, five, five little pebbles a day and some survive off of that? You guys are starving your, your whole thing. Physio ball stirs for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Start being crazy. Start being real. I cannot say this enough. I cannot preach this enough. Start getting wholesome. Most importantly, right? Once you start doing well, you get a first deal, you get a second deal, you get a third deal. That's once you start going out to and following the data. Ten seconds left. Gotta follow the data. Whatever the data is, you gotta follow it. So we've done so for most people change directions in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Of all the data, if you've got two or three deals, let me ask you this question. The easy question is, can you do it? Right? What this for? Right? Because you've got multiple covers in. This case is a new shot. It's the open dot com. What this have worked? Number two. What? Two. Ten seconds left. Today's workout will require the following pieces of equipment. A physio ball. Physio ball knee tucks for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your tough planks for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. If you are not doing that to produce a company, you're doing the right thing. And so 10 to 15 hours is what is what, what, what required at minimum to get one deal made. But I swear to you, 10 to 15 hours a week. Ten seconds left. If you're not doing this, that's the very goal to do. And the 15 hours is required for the result. Physio ball marching planks for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My last person is the people that did my last excuse me. Good. Ten seconds left. Like saying, uh, would you rather get your left or your right on the shot clock? Uh, yeah, right. But choose it, right? Well, if you chop it off. Physio ball corkscrews for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, 
Ten seconds left. Suffering by cold calling and working hard and not working too well. It's all suffering, but works a lot better than you do. Thirty seconds rest. Ball wall play crunches for 60 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I live a life, I don't think a lot of people want to live. It's a life of crime or a work. And, uh, now I can do whatever I want now, but the life I've previously had for the past two or three years is my life now. Now, my life now, everything. I don't pay the price of admission to get in. Right, the, the life that I live now, price is very expensive. It's a very expensive price. But I chose to pay it. And is it worth what I paid for? All day, every day. 30 seconds left. I chose to try to support me in my life. That's really a choice. So I, the world is on so I chose to sacrifice five years of my life for the next seven years of freedom. Five years of suffering versus seven years of freedom is better than. 50 years of suffering for 15 years of freedom. That's my choice. 10 seconds left. I can do it. I go to cruelty.com, learn how to wholesale real estate for free. And flexing on all the BOOM! Wholesale real estate gurus that got me to do it. ball stirs for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, let's have a conversation. Let's have a talk here. Let's see how you're doing, how this business is going, and exactly what you need to know for full time for the result. And so, uh, we're excited about this. We're going to, on Thursday, um, on the Pokemon channel, so we can see if you need the full time for the what's going on. We'll see. 10 seconds left. We'll see the market's going, and exactly how this entire business is going. So, I have a stream link if you hop on top of the screen. I will be back to you. Change directions in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I've become a, a wholesaler. I, I don't discriminate. I don't care. I just think that this is successful. So if you want to do that, I do have a uh, link here called Trailsome.com where it's free. Uh, but you want to do a free one on one coaching call with me, which people have offered a lot of people before. Um, they're streaming energy lines, they're changing all that stuff. I do events and stuff. Uh, 10 seconds left. Congratulations, you've completed today's workout. I love the, um, the, the last, the last thing I, I will say is, uh, I will be completely honest with you. I do a lot of gym rats that work out for three hours a day. But I'm on my grind. I work out three hours a day. I'm like, you work out one hour a day. I promise you. Okay. If you work out for one hour a day, you will not have time. So you can spend this two hours going out here and cold calling and marketing. And so for all my young, youngins that love grinding, I think I've worked in the gym. I won't call you your, uh, your, your, your title. Let me know what is every gym bro who's 21 years old right now? Who's their idol? Who do they look up to? Let me know in the comments. I, 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 I'm just doing a... Uh, I think it's uh, Sam Silva and Chris I'm going to shock most people with this. But hopefully I'll get to this one. Because I had another conversation with another young wholesaler who worked out two, he worked out two and a half hours a day. 
Those have two and a half hours left. Because you've already got these crazy holes to Right. It's, 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 uh, Sam, the guy, Sam saw it, right? I think it's funny, I like him. I used to have hair like him back in like a year and a half ago, right? He knows records. He works out one, he works out for an hour and 15 minutes a day. I think he's definitely He's on the, he's on the Kool-Aid, his son. But, he's a big dude. He's on the Kool-Aid son. And, uh, he works out one hour and 15 minutes a day. He's everyone's, everyone's gym guy they look up to, right? That guy works out an hour and 15 minutes a day. That's it. That's it. And so if you work out an hour and 15 minutes a day, you can work out an hour and 15 minutes. You don't have to work out four, four hours a day. Use that extra time to the whole time, and you'll be fine. Now, now, now do all this grinding and stuff I still work out. You know, I don't want my body job because I don't want my body job to have no energy. And, uh, not just focal point. I've always found if I worked out, I always had more energy for full time. Maybe an insurance thing, but like, you know, I don't think I'd be as good as a wholesaler if I didn't work out and didn't keep my body in shape. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's crazy to me that people like do that, right? I had another guy tell me, I had to spend four hours a day with my girlfriend on that. I was just hanging out. I'm like, buddy, let's put that down to two <laughs> and do the rest of your wholesaler. And I know a lot of people get mad at me. But I'm like, I mean, your girlfriend rather you spend two hours a day with them and not be broke, you spend four hours being broke. Don't take two hours and not be broke. Just being honest, okay? All my free time, like an hour and a half at you know, night, I, I would do my college work. It's stupid. It, it literally, I, I promise you, and I'm not bashing up at it, the University of Florida. Apparently, it's like this. But like, he was like, oh, it's, it's, it's like, is, is, is the square blue or the square purple? And I was like, I was like, oh, it's like, oh, it's purple. It's purple. It's purple. It's like, eh. I don't feel like there's like, you know, operations. One class was like, okay, this is a joke. Half of them are quite like, too. Shout out to 
so go shelf click at home. Uh, it didn't this didn't work. So we'll do a shelf click at home. FanDuel, we speak hockey. That's why we give you more ways to bet on the NHL. But you want to bet on a clapper to light the lamp? Look for some winger to start racking up apples. Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. We've rolled out your iliotibial bands, and now we're going to do some strengthening. Let's go ahead and bring your foam roller under your knees. Feet about hip distance apart. I want you to straighten your right leg as hard as you can. Just straighten it, straighten it, straighten it. Toes back towards you. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds as hard as you possibly can. Now, I want you to push your leg down a little bit into the foam roller as that leg is totally engaged, right? It has to be contracted as hard as you can to get the actual point of this exercise. The glute is gonna be engaged a little bit because your leg is pushing down into that foam roller. Good, just push it hard, 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 hard. Good. Now let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Straighten your left leg as hard as you can. Push your legs down into that foam roller. Engage the, the adductor, the inner thigh, just a little bit. It's so it's like everything's engaging here, right? It's just all engaging. It's that last five degrees of the range of motion that we really want to be working here. That, that end, there's an isometric contraction. You won't hurt yourself if it does hurt. If you feel any pain, just stop. So I think you're going to be fine here. Let's go to the other side. And let's go ahead and straighten the leg as hard as you can. And we're going to do some circles with the ankle, but still keep that leg straight. So circle. Beautiful. Straighten that leg as hard as you can. Do not let that straightening let up. You're doing great. Let's go ahead the other direction. Beautiful. Woo! Feeling it. Good. Let's go with the other leg. Straighten it as hard as you can. And circle. Circle. It's keeping that coordination going while you're engaging the leg. Let's go the other direction now, as hard as you can. Pull the shoulders down, chest is up, big breath. Good. Beautiful. And let's straighten the right leg again. And this time we're going to point to the end range motion so you feel the calf in your leg is totally straight. And then extend and bring the toe up towards your head. Good. Now toes pointed. It's so, it's like a board, really. And back towards you. Beautiful. You're doing great. And let's switch to the other side. Straighten as hard as you can. I want you to be straightening so hard that your eyes keep pointing and extending the foot. That you're just shaking. You want to shake like a leaf, right? Just go for it. Engage the inner thigh a little bit. You're almost like you're sliding your leg towards the other leg and pointing and bringing it back towards you. Pointing back towards you. Beautiful. Chest is up. Hope you like take the foam roller out, put it to your side. We're going to stretch the hamstring, straight stretch, and we're going to pull. Okay? I want you to pull above or below the knee. We're going to go to the other side and push that low back into the ground. We're just going to stretch the hamstring. It's kind of an active stretch. Engage the abs. Your head is off the mat. Beautiful. Just push that low back into the ground as hard as you can. Don't want to arch that low back here. Good job. Keep going. Beautiful. Breathing out as you pull.
Right. Okay, we're gonna do a little bridge. I want you to pull those heels as close as you can towards your butt. Arch your low back a little bit. Now, with this, it's nice. You protect the knees a little bit. You can squeeze the foam roller in between your knees. Lift the toes and lift those, that, those hips off the ground and feel your glutes. Are they rock colors? Yes, great. Are the hamstrings relaxed? Great. Let's do a couple pulses here. Pulses. Push, push the legs straight down to the ground. Like your tibia are just vertical and they're going directly into the ground and the hips are coming up. Beautiful. Squeeze that roller. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Good. Let's keep going. Ten. Nine. Feel the glutes engaged. Good. Put the roller down. Straighten your right leg. And let it flare out a little bit. And now I want you to straighten that leg as hard as you can. We're going to bore you up and twist it so that when you get to the knee, the toe is pointing pretty much straight up. So you bring it out like a windshield wiper and back up. Engage the abs. Don't let them let up. We're going to be feeling this hopefully vastus medialis obliquus right there, that lower muscle in your inner thigh a bit. And if you straighten it as hard as you can, you're going to be more VMO. There you go. Go back towards you. This should be challenging. And then set your leg down close to the hip. And then we're going to straighten the other leg. We're going to lift it and bring it up to meet the knee. Not above the knee, just to the knee. Great. Solid knee rehabilitation stuff. Great prep if you want to do squats or something intense, even if you don't have a knee problem. This is a great warm up. Really get your knee tracking right, get the proper muscles engaging, getting that patella tracking properly, and really get your knee on track. Here you go, straighten that leg as hard as you can. Windshield wiper that leg. Okay, we're gonna do the bridges again. Heels really close to the butt. Roller in between the knees and lift. Okay, this time we're gonna do isometric contraction. You're gonna squeeze that roller as hard as you can. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna lift your right leg and push down with your left leg. Now, before we do it, I'm gonna tell you, if, if this is too much, just go back to this position, keeping the hips up. Don't drop your hips at all the entire, we're gonna go a minute and a half. Okay, so go ahead and just lift, chest is up, arch the low back, good, straighten the leg that's up, and push down with the leg that's bent, feel that hamstring should be relaxed, so all the weight should be going right into the glute, you should be shaking a little bit, this is a little bit of a challenge, arch that low back, Push your scapula into the ground, straight. Non. Woo! Leg on the ground. Push. Push those hips up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch and straighten the opposite leg. Chest is up. How are we doing? Arch that low back. Squeeze the knees together. Chest is up. Lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Focus. Straighten this leg as hard as you can and push the other leg straight down into the ground. Ten more seconds. You're doing great. Big breath. We're going to go ahead and just put the roller aside. We're going to do some lifts again. This time the leg's straight. So the foot is going to be going straight up to the ceiling and down again. The leg completely contracted. Contract that leg and lift. 
keep the low back pushed into the ground. Your foot might want to flare as you go down to the bottom, but keep it centered and straighten the leg as far as you can. I see that so much on this. It's, it's so important because we want to work more your leg than we do your hip flexor on this. If you need to rest, now rest. Either do them perfect or don't do them. And then plant that foot. Let's go to the other side and lift. Beautiful. Remind it straighter. Four more. One. Good job. Two. Three. One more. Four. Good. Let's go ahead and do another bridge. Hips real close to your heels. Lift up. We're going to do that single leg bridge again. Lift the right leg. Chest is up. Pushing down with the left leg. Straighten the right leg. Good. You can do hands up, get a little bit more out of it. Arch up onto your shoulders. Good, straighten that right leg. Push that left leg down. Push, 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 push. You're gonna be shaking right now, that's a good thing. Shoulders down, arms are straight, everything. You're like a stiff soldier. You're doing it, Navy Seal, right here, pushing through it, never giving up. Re engage that glute, get acquainted with that glute, learn what it does, learn how to make it work for you. Push down into the ground with that heel. Oh, there you go. Straighten your left leg. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go on our side. Okay, go on your side. Face me. Top leg is going to go here. Go here. Okay. Bottom leg is just going to straighten and lift and hold. And down. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Good. Lift and hold. Again, you're working that DMO. Lift and hold. Good job. Woo! It's a good one. Okay, and pulses now at the top. 40 of them. Together, 90 degrees, and we do some clams. So stack the hips, open up the legs, and squeeze at the top. Open up the legs, squeeze at the top. Good. Open up, squeeze. Engage the abs, get your body nice and engaging your abs. And 
very good. Very good. Okay, let's just do side legs. Okay, we're just gonna lift the legs. Bring it down. Good. Lift the legs. Bring it down. Lift. And bring it. Good job. Keep that toe pointed straight ahead. Good, now we're gonna do with the toe pointed out. Straighten that leg. Woo. Good job. And let's head over to the other side. Time is luxury. Grief benefit. Such benefit. Okay, we're going to do those side lifts again. Feet flat on the ground. We're just going to lift, lift, lift. There we go. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Good job. Lift and hold. Straighten that leg as hard as you can, deep ball. <laughs> there we go. And now we're going to pulse. Pulse it. Engage the abs. internal. Again, let's work those inner thighs and that BMO. Put that foot down. Straighten that leg. And lift and hold. And lift and hold. Down. Straighten the leg as hard as you can. Sitting out on the way up. That tear drop, drop muscle. Visualize it in your head. See it. See it fibrous. See it big. See it working for you. See it going down the ski slope. See it on your mountain bike. You see it absolutely functioning big time as you straighten that leg as hard as you can and now pull. Good job. Okay. Let's go ahead and stretch your hands a little bit. 
<laughs> pull that hamstring. We're just gonna bring the core back towards you. Just to, to feel that stretch. Just really pull it with the toe. Bring it back towards you. Pulling it back towards you. Super. Pull it into the Cross that leg over the other knee. Reach your hand through in between your legs and to the outside of your leg. And just pull that in and stretch that out if that's what you want to do. Push that towards your chest and get it even further. Okay, let's stretch the opposite hamstring. Bring it up. Pull it in. Good. Just bring the toes back towards you. Point them. Pull that nice stretch. We're cracking this into perhaps. Bring it back towards you. Beautiful. Working it. You did a great job today. Keep doing these. The knees are going to be loving it. Let's go ahead and cross it over. Big breath. As you breathe out, let's pull a little bit. the outside of those legs, cross the one leg over the other, and just stretch. stretching the outer a little bit more. Good, breathe through that. Great job. While we're doing shockwave and rehab together, we're doing these exercises every day, and then we're gonna get more complex in the room. Maybe what your doctor's waiting room has been waiting for what is up my Monoid Warriors and welcome back to another video and another follow along. Today we're going to be going over a hip flexibility routine which we focus around internal rotation, external rotation and hip as well as some squats. Um, as always the full offline PDF downloadable one is in the link in the description down below but otherwise let's jump into the routine. So before we start with this one uh, if you are tight, you're probably going to want to grab a couple of yoga blocks just to aid you with some of the exercises that we're going to be doing. So we're going to start in the old favourite, the nice tiny position. We're going to sit is our legs just outside shoulder width. I'll say fine too, so drop to the right hand side first. And one leg goes into external rotation, the other goes into internal rotation. Try to keep the torso forward and then we're going to swap back to the other side. We're going to do 10 of these just to warm up, just to help warm up the rotation of Hips and we'll get ourselves prepared for this short session. With this routine, we're going to be focusing a lot around this position, standing parallel. Right. Developing internal externalization of the hip is really useful for improving hip mobility and also specifically squat flexibility. Today's routine actually is going to focus quite a bit along 
the strengthening line. Um, so it's going to be a little bit crampy, a little bit in places, but it's always a good thing. Right, we okay, one more. I've lost count when we're talking. And then we're going to stop on the right hand side. So we're going to start in the nice line position. So this right leg needs to be open at more than 90 degrees. Back leg, we want the knee in line with the hip. And then the other leg straight. If you're tight, what you're going to do is you grab your yoga block and you place underneath your hip. And then this means there's less exercise needed, less impact. So find an intensity that is good for you. From here, we're going to lean on forward. We're not going to round on forward. We're going to lean as far as we can. We're going to try and twist those hips and we come into a stretch. What we're going to do here is we're going to first we're going to press the knee down into the ground. We're going to think about pressing this way for five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to try and lift up my knee into my hands. Two, three. Deeper. Same again, press the knee into the ground. Two, three, four, five. Now lift. Two, three, four, five. Again, twist, sink a little bit deeper. One last one. Press. Two, three, four, five. Now lift. One, two, three, four, five. And here, we should be feeling a stretch in the glute on the right leg, so keep holding that, we're going to come back, sit back out of it, sit back onto those hands, we're going to twist, try and place the torso into the left leg, and you should be feeling a stretch of internal rotation now, so if we come down into the side of the hip, try and feel it on the inside as well. We're going to hold this one for about 20 seconds before we get into the crampy one, so we're going to work on the internal rotation, now a lot of times internal rotation is quite an excellent for a lot of people. Also, it then varies from side to side. One side might be tighter, one side might be looser. It's all fine. Then do an extra rest on the tight side, do an extra step on the tight side. It's all good. Okay, we're going to come back. That's nine times in the same time. Now, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and lift the foot to that back leg. Now, what we want to avoid doing is try to come forward loads to lift it. And we also want to just lean over to the side. We're going to try and stay as upright as possible and try and lift. Even if it's lifted like literally a millimetre off the ground, or just think about trying to lift it at all costs. Going to lift three reps in five seconds. So lift two, three, four, five. I've got some cramps in this area. Give me a second. Three, four, five. Like five seconds rest, and we're just going to do one more. Yeah. 
you're enjoying this video, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I highly appreciate that one. And also, if you're enjoying it, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Right, now we move on to the cramps. So we're going to turn back into that left leg. Maximum effort, and try and lift that right up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. This is when you get to discover where the one is tighter than the other. Again, you're going to lift. Two, three, four, five. And take it down. And we're going to do one last one. So lift. Two, three, four, five. That last five, and we're then going to come back onto the back, and twist. Really try to keep that knee pin down and open it as far as you can. Ten of these again. So from here we're going to jump up into the squat, we're going to shift over to the right hand side of the mat, we're going to let our foot shift out, we're going to drop back into the pop up squat. Now if you can't fit in a pop up squat for whatever reason it is, the next best option, grab onto an anchor point in front of you. So grab a chair, grab something that's going to be able to hold you in this position, pause the video where you do that, and then we can continue. Let's start, we're going to sit just for 10 seconds, we're going to try and think about pushing this right knee out, opening up the hips. So sitting in that position, and then we're simply going to move, keeping the hips as low as we can down to the ground, the opposite leg. Let us so put that up in the bottom, and we're going to pause in this position. And then go back and forth, and up, as we go up. So, we shift, keep those hips nice and low, down into that cross side squat, hold, and we shift back. The idea is to keep these hips super low to the ground in tight, and that's the challenge. Again, if you're doing this at an anchor point, you better do it absolutely fine. So, 10 in total. We've now done four. Five. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back to that right hand side, and from here, we're just going to push around 90 degrees to the right hand side, and then we're going to basically be in a lunge position. So we're going to have a little stretch over this hip flexor. So all we're going to do here is we're going to let that right hip hang out, we're going to go down as low as we can go, ideally onto our elbows. Hold this position. I'm going to try and walk back and forward. You can see that stretch a bit. To the left, that hip hanging out on this side. Go for a stretch to the left. Yeah, that's good. And it's generally chill out. From here, I'm going to do five repeats. Reach. That's the right side. Come back. Good. Five from these each side.
Yeah, I'm going to do a twist. Loop up to the sky. Down. Reach. Five of these. Last one, five. Come back up. We're going to go into a pancake position. So we're going to keep our straddle. Keep feet together. Legs locked. I like grab the bit of work, pull us down into that pancake position. So if you want to, you can think about here trying to use the hip flexors to pull you deeper into that flex position. So again, we're just going to chill out here, feel the stretch, go down on the side, chair lift the elbows if you're up here, pull your back to the side, just looking for a stretch on the hamstring and into our hips. So again, we just chill out, hold this position, and then from here, just going to walk this feet in, and then finish up this foot position. And that is basically it for this squat routine. As I've already said, if you enjoyed this. Just finish up with ATG and then I think the KG is doing party tonight, so this might be a two part video, but I'm feeling good right now.
Sure, yeah. You seen what I did. Um, let me not spell no more. I got ATP stretching, four stretches, and then I'm Trying to find what video I want to put on. Shirt is crucial for any closet. It's Google, but for shopping. You kind of have to be nuts not to jump into real estate, but it's not what you think. I look at other people jumping into real estate, wholesaling, fixing and flipping, going out cold calling, knocking doors, doing all these. Let's say job number one pays you 80000 a year, and you're expected to break off torture, and I don't want you to do that. You are not going to make these people give you data. So understand. How to use your build, your, how to build rapport, and use that just like me that teach you this motivated stuff. So the first one is always going to be in person. It is the most accurate, most up to date information. That is the best one. But let's not stop there. Let's talk about. Chicken legs do these workouts. If you want me to stretch and do mobility to be active, but you haven't seen what I've been doing. Thank you. 
became known as the Mormons. You know, I think the subject today has more to do with your financial future than probably any other luxury you could see. It's unselfish. It's on how you see me. I am. I used to think a million dollars was a lot of money. I don't think it is anymore. Now, a million dollars has never changed its value. It was never a lot or a little. I made it whatever it was. And if you think a million is a lot, if you just shift your thinking, you could make it a little. See, the truth is it's not just a lot or a little. It's just this. Everything just a it's the slightest thing, right? This truth is important. I wasn't finding this, but it's just probably why I'm saying it again. Uh, that's in Manchester, that's in English, I said the second there. I really go with Manchester. Here you are here.
I was always very shy. Why would they be shy? Because they have no self esteem. They feel inferior. Tell me, everyone and everything is a ton of crap. Come ask yourself how do you behave? Are you confident? Are you wealthy? Are you struggling? You know? How's your business? Is it growing? Is it shrinking? Is it staying away? See, the self-image controls everything. You know, the crazy part about this, a company has a self-image too. A company, it's the composite of the images that operate in the company. That's what the company self-image is. Now, there's a book that everyone should have. Psycho Cybernetics, it's about 1960. And I don't have any regrets in the past, but I have a few things that could have happened. I had never met Maxwell Maltz. I had the opportunity to meet Barry and Lee. I went to Maltz, died somewhere around 1969. And I was selling tickets, I was working at Major Clinic. And I was selling tickets for a seminar that he was going to do in uh, Wisconsin, Arizona Road. But that seminar never happened because he passed, I'm sure, before it happened. He was a brilliant guy. He was a cosmetic or a reconstructive surgeon. And he would operate on people and literally change their lives. And um, sometimes the operation didn't change their lifestyle, well, change their appearance, but that was it. Um, I remember I worked with a woman. So the secret to becoming a millionaire is right under everyone's nose. Now when you figure it out, it you know, pick yourself because it's so glaringly obvious. And everyone's really doing this on a very basic level, even as a baby. Right. Now for instance, I'm going to get my daughter a horse, right? We're building uh horse we have horse stables in the back and now we're noticing horses everywhere. Hey man, we go. My quality, quality, quality. Horse trailers. I'm going right. a little slow street, we're noticing you know, which neighbors have horses in their uh, lots. And I'm also a perfect example of utilizing the shortcut to make lots of money in a factory a uh, long ago, before I ever even came to She had a very distasteful scar from the ear to the corner of her mouth. How would happen? I have absolutely no idea. But I do know she was taught to she had never had like this one. She always tried to hide it because doctors said it was. Environment. Now, most would meet people like her, and he would remove the scar. I often thought after I got to know Malt, it's too bad that her name was Olin. She was a really a pretty girl, but she had that one physical disfigurement. I don't know how it happened, but I know it bothered her. Well, most would operate on people, and sometimes there would be an enormous change in their, in their behavior. And here it is. So it not only removed the scar, not only changed the physical appearance, there was a psychological shift. They changed how they saw themselves. And totally different personality. But sometimes we operate and the success of a physical operation would be very successful, but no change in their uh, in their appearance or in their thoughts about themselves. There was no psychological change. Here's what I've known. The cash flows that we have in an animal brain. When you stand and look in the mirror, you get a reflection back. Um, that's an image of you. And uh, that's not the truth, but that's the second, which is not on your channel. And that's how you see it. It'll work today, huh? So it's wrong. You want to talk about 